This psychotic killer is one very good reason to be afraid of clowns. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest Art the Clown moments. Figures. For this list, we're looking at scenes from All Hallows Eve and Terrifier featuring Art the Clown. Since we'll be covering important moments from these two films, consider yourself warned. A spoiler alert is now in effect. Number 10, The Interview, Terrifier. Welcome back to the program. If you're just tuning in, I'm sitting here live with the sole survivor of the Miles County Massacre, which occurred exactly one year ago today. In the opening scene of Terrifier, a journalist is interviewing one of Art the Clown's victims on a talk show. The woman's encounter with Art resulted in her face being maimed to the point where it's hard for her to go out in public. The scene is unsettling, as the viewer is watching this interview through a small TV screen with grainy reception in a strange room, until a foot wearing what looks to be an oversized clown shoe kicks in the TV for an effective jump scare. The authorities issued a statement claiming that his body disappeared from the county coroner's office the morning after the attack. He's dead. I saw it happen. In addition to feeling sorry for the woman with the hideous face, while simultaneously feeling creeped out by her looks, all we need is a shot of the viewer putting on a possible clown costume to start sending shivers down our spine. Number 9. Art Coming for the Babysitter, All Hallows' Eve. An anthology film, All Hallows' Eve is a collection of three short films, and Art the Clown makes an appearance in all three. For the main story, a babysitter named Sarah comes across a videotape containing the film segments that was found in a kid's trick-or-treat bag. Hey, look what I got. What is that? After Sarah makes the mistake of watching the contents of the videotape all the way through, Art the Clown turns his attention towards her and tries to break through to the other side in order to reach her. Art comes dangerously close behind Sarah, but fortunately, she's able to make him go away by breaking the tape. Or is she? <laughs> Number 8. A Mother's Touch Terrifier. Emily? Okay. You're scaring mommy now. In this scene, a mentally ill woman has lost her doll, which she believes to be her baby. Frantically searching for the doll, she finds Art the Clown sitting on the floor. The woman, credited as Cat Lady, pleads with Art to give her back her baby, trying to appeal to Art's sense of compassion, asking if he's ever felt a mother's touch. Have you ever felt a mother's touch? Surprisingly, her method appears to work, as Art gives back the doll and regressing to a childlike state where he sucks his thumb. But we know this won't end well for the woman. It's okay. Number 7. Waiting for a Train. All Hallows' Eve. This scene from the first segment of All Hallows' Eve marks the first time we see Art interact with someone. A young woman named Casey is sitting alone at a train station when she comes across Art the Clown. As expected, Art is less than considerate, annoying Casey by honking a loud horn and giving her a flower that contains roaches. Eventually, Art grabs Casey and injects her with a syringe that causes her to lose consciousness. Before passing out, she witnesses Art's glowing eyes, which are a window into Art's demonic nature. Number 6. And credits, All Hallows' Eve. During the closing credits of All Hallows' Eve, the scene cuts to the boiler room where Art first tried to break out of the TV set. Art appears again, moving towards the screen, while discordant music plays in the background. <laughs> the 
This suggests Art the Clown is gonna break into the real world and terrorize the viewer personally, just like he intended to do with the poor babysitter. The next time you go to sleep, close your eyes and replay the scene in your head. Sweet dreams. Number five, Pizzeria Terrifier. Congratulations. <laughs> While the two main characters, Don and Tara, wait for an order at the pizza shop, Art walks in, making everyone in the restaurant uncomfortable. He sits across the room from the two girls, staring at Tara, who is clearly an object of his affection, and flirts with her by proposing to her with a plastic ring he bought from the restaurant's toy machine. <laughs> what are you doing? Tara is made uneasy because she sees the danger Art potentially poses, while her friend looks like she's clueless, making things worse by provoking the sinister clown. <laughs> okay, not for nothing, but that's the nicest thing a guy has done for you all night. Seriously? Number four, do you know where your children are? All Hallows' Eve. Come on, let's go, it's bedtime. Bedtime? Yes, bedtime. Tia, go wash your face. And I want the both of you to brush your teeth. While Sarah's watching the videotape in All Hallows' Eve, she is babysitting two children, whom she's sent to bed because the first short proved to be too inappropriate for them. After she demolishes the videotape and keeps Art from breaking out to reach her, she hears a scream upstairs. Oh my god. <laughs> when she goes up to see what's going on, she finds Art, covered in blood, waiting for her in the hallway. Her worst fears are confirmed when she goes into the bedroom and discovers that Art has killed both children. <laughs> Number three, the ending of the third segment, All Hallows' Eve. Yes! Please! Yes, help me! There's been a murder! Please hurry! Throughout the third segment of All Hallows' Eve, Art chases a young costume designer who's out on the road late at night. Eventually, he catches up with the woman by causing a car crash that knocks her unconscious. When the costume designer wakes up, she finds herself in a strange room laid up on a table next to Art, who's pointing and laughing at her. <laughs> While she was unconscious, Art mutilated her body. This torture at the hands of Art the Clown undoubtedly makes the unfortunate woman wish he'd killed her earlier on the road. This can't be happening! Number two, Selfie, Terrifier. D, stop. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me, can I get a picture with you? During the scene at the pizzeria, one of the ways Don pestered Art was by sitting on his lap and taking a selfie with him while he gave a deathly glare. This turns out to be a big mistake on Don's part, as Art was not in the mood for this playful interaction. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna take that as a yes. Later on in the movie, after he kills Don in a memorably brutal way, Art decides to repay Don's previous action by taking a selfie with her dead body. Thanks. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Saw, Terrifier. In this infamous scene, Art has tied up Tara in a chair and gagged her mouth. Then he pulls a curtain to reveal that he's kidnapped her friend Dawn and has been hanging her upside down for an unknown period of time. Art then begins to slowly hack away at Dawn, who is unable to scream about what's happening to her because she too is being gagged. Tara has no choice but to watch as her friend is being killed right in front of her. The scene is so intense and so graphic, we obviously can't even show it here. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.